Hello and welcome to another interesting episode of Tea Time Roundup where you are updated on the biggest entertainment stories around you. Trust that I will take you through all that went down this week on Tea Time. My name is Ifeo Mai. There are many people with very opinions of our beautiful country, Nigeria. Some are deep-rooted in patriotism, while others are just sheer hate. I'm really not sure what spectrum Sam Clef falls in based on the statement, Nigeria was not created to work. What do you feel? Did he hit it on the nail or was he just chatting? Also moving on, it is fair to say our homeboy, Bashir Gray, who is popularly known as Hakim from Empire, has fallen our hand Big time. He is in the news for being arrested after beating up his wife to unconsciousness, guys. It is mind-boggling to see how violent the real-life character of Hakim is. And I'm glad the show is already cancelled because so is he. As you know, violence against women is unacceptable and that is on period. Moving on, Nollywood actor John Okafo, a.k.a. Mr. Ibu, who we all grew up watching and has made us laugh with his sunny performances, has shocked many people. With disappointment, really, as he came out to say in an interview that COVID-19 does not exist in Nigeria. He's living under a rock. Maybe he's living under a rock because while many of his colleagues who have come out to share their personal experiences of the virus, including Mr. P, maybe passed over him because, wow, I don't know. Y'all know it is very real. And if you are one of the skeptics, just pretend like it is and stay safe. Nothing spoiled. Nigeria was not created to work. Um, that's why it's pain the security agencies to see young people succeed. Right? I don't know where he got that conclusion from, but mm. yeah. Because it didn't make so much sense, right? No, it yeah. didn't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, it, it makes sense in the sense that um, SARS, police brutality, especially Which is when. You're trying to insinuate. Yeah, especially when you're young and successful, they profile you. You have to be a Yahoo boy to be using iPhone 11. You have to be. I'm oh. a Yahoo girl. Yahoo sounds terrible. I mean, it's public knowledge. <laughs> oh, is it? I've done a mirror selfie, so. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm, okay. So, back Pro to Max. what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing. Do you so, want an endorsement so with flex iPhones? I, I wouldn't oh, mind. You don't mind. I won't mind. 10% okay. for helping you with this brand. It's okay. Cool. <laughs> Business done. Oh, don't leave me. <laughs> don't leave you. Leave you. <laughs> 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 All right, so. Um, it's obvious, it's, it, I think it's off the back of that, that because once they see you, they just profile you, you're young, you're successful, you know? Some people are not even so successful, they are not even using what she's using, mm. but the moment it is that brand, they're already profiling, like, how did you, mm. they would even ask you, how did you yeah, get you? Yeah, just have a tattoo. Mm. Yeah. No, no, but that doesn't signify your success. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Do you understand? I'm talking about mind. your success look Tattoo now. and dreadlocks. That so. doesn't really signify your success. We've but seen it, a lot of riffraffs with tattoos and dreadlocks. But they, 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 they profile That's them the profiling same. That's profiling for your looks. Now, I'm talking about profiling you based on your success. Mm. Do you understand? Now, people, some people have legitimate jobs, but because their job requires them... Okay, imagine I drive a Benz, which mm. will happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> so, imagine I drive a Benz and... Um, I have a legitimate job, but every day I have to dress down, wear a t-shirt, wear jeans, wear some, if I want to, I can wear a sleeveless if I really want to. Mm -hmm. I have tattoos and I'm coming to work and then um, a policeman stops me and says, uh, you have to be a Yahoo boy. And I'm not with my ID card and I have to call my boss and they come. They will look stupid, but I would have gone through a lot of pain because they would have tortured me. They would have said a lot of mm -hmm. things and all of that. So what size is this? I said, is this size? Sam Clef is saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, right? But I think the way... But, but the correlation it, between yeah. that and that Nigeria wasn't built for that, is that, a, is that an appropriate statement to make? I don't really think so. I think because they don't has think... an articulation problem. He, there's mm. yeah. nothing he has ever said that he has landed. Even though he's though. trying to make mm. sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think his intentions are good, mm -hmm. but the, you know, the so final lap is... you think he'll find is... himself into the Edna shoes being a failed blogger? Oh, wow. I think he's... I have someone who thinks he's actually making wave in the blogging sense. So let's see how that goes. Mm. Mm. I mean, he, he, has, yeah, he yeah. has enough so clout. not to start as well. Mm. But Tony Elot is still doing good, just that he's not using his doing platform Doing good well. in... Like, when, in terms of numbers and getting the mm. influence, he has right. it, but he's using the influence I thought you were talking about music. And, mm. Mm. Okay. Um, let's not go below that. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Um, Empire actor um, Bashar Gray faces domestic violence charges after allegedly strangling his wife until mm -hmm. she passed out and then barricading himself in his home overnight when police arrived to investigate. 
Sounds like something's crazy. Mm -hmm. Zappa Empire cast. Oh, they no. are falling my hand. It's a good thing the show is over, Sha. Mm -hmm. So nothing can happen. And this to is all money was complete mm -hmm. the end. <laughs> I think I think that's the problem too. I'm wondering like is there a psychological thing to this thing now? And I also show? think it's not the show now. Okay, maybe it's just the show, but I'm thinking that maybe the lockdown yeah, is that's also what I'm saying. causing some rage. Like the lockdown is causing rage. Homes. You're spending more hours with somebody. And so it's bringing out the true now. beast. Yeah, it's bringing you. out the true person. Because oh no, no I don't lockdown or no, it's really disgusting like, a lot of people are using the lockdown, lockdown to bond and a lot of to... people are beginning to feel very frustrated especially those that are not used to being idle no where to escape to, to anyone. yeah they're not used to being just just sitting at home they're always on the move and all that now yeah you but do you think lockdown be... would honestly stare up violence in someone who wasn't already violent yeah, no 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 of course there there was already an atom of violence but you could avoid it you could have avoided it like drive away like if i shared the story you could drive away the balcony. it's not as if no you're where not is it driving away to uh to the end of the road i'm Oh. You should do a speed. Actually, when you know there is no, there is no um, pleasure where you're driving away to, you might not think of the driving away. Mm. We're not making excuses for him. We're just saying. No, that we're this just analyzing the situation. Stem, I guess so. Can stem up a lot. But it's allegedly. Mm. No, she was, she, she was beaten. Allegedly. Because he, you know what? It's, Please, we're not in the courts. He, she, he battered his wife. Did you not see the pictures of mm. of her in the wherever the pub, wherever she um, asked Where somebody? She the, to. We yeah. saw Amber Heard's pictures too, right? Yeah, you don't think they whooped Did each other? Did you see any bruise on uh, um, Grace's body on this in this situation? All I'm saying is, it's why still did he allegedly. barricade himself? It's still alleged. It's not alleged. It's not alleged. He's been arrested. But that's he the language they're using. No, you guys are not the court of cases. law for you to tell him that he is, he has done it. If he has a good lawyer, a good lawyer will still come out and say, oh, he didn't do it, and there will be something they will when come it up comes with something. To domestic violence, yeah, but are you his lawyer <laughs> over there? This is what the woman said. <laughs> That stands. They don't need a lawyer to come and tell them when they are seen an apparent mark. Even mm. the policemen had to take her to a hospital mm. for her to be okay. Mm. And the lady who saved her, I think she was walking yeah, on yeah. a lonely path, and mm. then she came around and was she couldn't even speak and all that. Yeah. And they took her to. I mean, I don't know what's what because it that's, is. The, that's what actually brought this to light. Not that she even went to report. Yeah, it's because no. of they saw all the marks on her body mm -hmm. from his wife, and then she, I think she's also given a nine one one call as well. Mm -hmm. But it, it, the case started from when she was at the hospital, so it's very disgusting. I mean, alleged or not, whatever language you want to use. What's that word they use this morning? Confident. I'm not mm. confident. I'm confident. <laughs> <laughs> um, either way, it's really disgusting, and unfortunately for him, his career is over. Mm. Hmm. Um, and he deserves that 100%. There's no space for violence or for anything like that because you married someone. Like, the audacity is ridiculous. And mm. I know he knows better, so... Talking about his character in Empire, I mean, at the mm. beginning of that show, I hated Hakim Lion. Like, what kind of a boy is this? But towards the end, he became mature, became a man. Mm. But why didn't that translate to your new life? Ah, shit. Sad. It's very painful stories. Well, um, whatever it is, we don't condone um, domestic violence, so... I hope he pays the price. Mm. He sure will. <laughs> ah. No, when he pays this we, he's so tired of me. <laughs> okay. Are we not we? Because <laughs> <laughs> I okay. need to know. Are we I? If I'm speaking for yourself sometimes. Oh, you condone domestic mm -hmm. violence. But in this case, I we too, we don't condone, and then I, <laughs> I hope whatever. Okay, moving on. That was okay, we don't sense. condone domestic violence. We hope he gets served. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Better. I agree. Why didn't that translate to your new life? Ah, shit. <laughs> Can we just have a moment of silence? <laughs> what? Is he talking about an illness? Mm -hmm. It sounds like something else, like the A technical. It sounds, it sounds like he's talking about something else. You know what always baffles me about illiteracy is that... Oh. It, 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 <laughs> the what really baffles me is that they still look out for knowledge. You know, you've had to have read up on this. You have to have gone out of your way to find information. So it's not that you can't reason or you can't seek um, truth. 
is that you're going out of your way to digest nonsense. Because the way he explained this thing, I swear to you, I first started thinking, I sure this is ill. Because I was thinking, how does a virus first move from China? And then Chinese people will agree with the American government. And the American government will now put some technicalities around it and then sell it to the world. And like, are we still talking about an illness here that's contagious? Are we talking about like, like I don't know, like a person or a tool I or a box or something? I heard this explanation, like something that I heard from a beer parlor, you know, it's while drinking. I didn't think it was hearing this explanation. <laughs> I didn't see that uh, in Well, as an uh, while drinking, Drinking, I just feel like it's not something that you would hear when sane people are talking. You know, mm. people that are not intoxicated. I could hear, I could hear different brands of alcohol speaking. Wow. Was, yeah, like I was like, no, no, bro. That, <laughs> okay, that, I, 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 could, I could even point. No, no, no that, that, that's. Hey, that's <laughs> just James. You know, like I want to sound like someone we all know now, and I'm going to say, guys, 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 <laughs> coronavirus is real. <laughs> and you have to believe it today. today. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I'm going to say. People are dying. I mean, we lost, lost our um, is it chief of staff, yeah, mm. um, Abba Kiari to this one. We've lost them. Um, Ajimobi to Ajimobi, this one. Yeah. We've lost, I mean, we can count and lose count. I mean, when you have numbers of people going to close to a thousand deaths, then, I mean, they are not statistics. They are human mm. beings with families. And unfortunately, he's saying he's not heard of anyone who has died from coronavirus. I don't know if he's talking about him having a personal contact or he's not hearing the news or something. Mm. I don't know. But this is not the kind of um, content that should be amplified at this time. Have you also noticed a trend here? It seems like actors are beginning to over um, connect with their roles <laughs> that they act. <laughs> because the last time we were talking about Hakim, and Hakim was really aggressive. Now mm. he's beating his wife in real life. Mm. We have a man who's who is an idiot in movies. In the, in and in now movies. he's a COVID idiot. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm seeing a pattern here, guys, and I, I, I'm worried. Actors, forget the script. After you say cut, drop it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Use your head. <laughs> because I can't, I can't even take this thing serious. I think when it first came out, and I was saying things like this, I was, I really vexed for the Uber driver that says there's no coronavirus, and I really try and like spend Explain. a lot of time. But now it's just like completely ridiculous. Like I can't even take you seriously. Like. Of course, if you really wanted to find out, just ask a few people. Mm -hmm. You would know that there's a virus. Either you know somebody who survived it, who has or an know experience. Someone who knows someone. And then you the know? fact that he thinks that you're just going to see um, victims of coronavirus in regular hospitals. Mm -hmm. Like, have you been to an hospital and they said this person is Corona Ulam? And I'm wondering, like, do you, have you heard and of an isolation is, center? He's <laughs> an ambassador to it. <laughs> Okay, let hey, me not no, start no, dragging. Don't, don't drag him into that. So. No, no, no. I'm not dragging him. I'm, I was going to... He's already been dragged already. I was going to drag the people he's ambassador. <laughs> no, 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 whatever no, no, it is. No, but no. what I'm saying is a message to those people because I'm trying not to call your name and I will not call your name. This is the high time for you to separate ties with mindsets like this because I don't understand how I would be using a product that is being pushed mm. by someone with this mindset when people are mm. dying. Mm. Like, people are dying. That's the point here. Don't severe ties, just just what educate him. Interesting. Hmm. Don't no, no, don't, don't, don't drag him. Welcome back, guys. Being Beyonce in Destiny's Child was torture. This is not from me because I was not with Beyonce, unfortunately. This statement was made by Kelly Rowland and it became heated in the studio. It felt she felt like she was having security issues. While Elsie and I, Aries Gang, just felt she was honestly having a vulnerable conversation. But please. Help us settle this matter. The video of Megan D. Stylen shooting incident being tracked down by Los Angeles police is ongoing. I was all in with her on the Hot Girl Summer Movement vibes, you know, last year. But this ain't it, sis. Surely there is a way to stay far away from gun violence. I mean, Nikki did it. So let's just leave you all to it. Enjoy. I think I understand. Mm. I understand. You do? Mm. I do. Mm. You do too? Yeah, surely mm. when you want to be... Let's not go the route. I know some people start saying you do not love yourself enough, you are not strong oh, enough, yeah. you are not... I, I, I sense but a little are... bit of um, low self-esteem. Nah. 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 This is, a, this is, a this is, this is ah. the height of sincerity. See, there are people who would intimidate you. Whether you like it it's, or not. It's not intentional. That one is even, is it's even not, a, bit, a bit more fair statement. Okay. The group was designed... For, for Beyonce, Beyonce. Mm -hmm. and for you to be backstage of Beyonce, there is no way you're not gonna feel compared, even if you had the highest 
esteem in the world. For all you know, Beyonce actually was one with the insecurities and then Kelly Rowland was confident in herself, but it doesn't matter because they, as Destiny's Child is concerned, mm. those girls were behind Beyonce. And, and then in you, fact, there's even category, there's Beyonce, there's Kelly Rowland and, and there's, there's Michelle. So unless what Michelle unless is going the to system say. was working against you, if, uh, then that's the only you know, thing. Okay, let's bring this home. Let's let's try to have a, a sincere conversation. Plantation boys. In, what is plantation boys? <laughs> Black face, face, and In your day-to-day -day life and activities, mm. or maybe your gathering mm. with friends, mm. there is nobody you see and you'll be like, ah, this guy is just too good in everything. Like, I, I think I would love to be him in this certain way, in this mm. certain category. You've never experienced that but in your that life. But that doesn't mean if we both walk into a room, I'll feel like I'm walking in a shadow, no. Well, imagine if you were in the band with that person and you were literally seen everywhere with that person and that person was clearly better than you. Um, then I would try to improve myself so, but you wouldn't and compare. be good at Different. what I do as well. I would never, Let's, let's ever. have a real conversation, I don't know. okay? I don't, first of I don't all, know. First first of all first of, Destiny's Child had a serious... They, they vibed me the wrong way. I know we don't have that much colorism problem in Nigeria, but we did in, in, in um, what's it called, in America. We still do. The way they were represented was very poor. Every girl wanted to be Beyonce because she sang better. She was in the front. She wore the nicest outfit. They were all strategically... And the color. Yes. And so the system strategically was working played. against them. Yes, it was, because the system was built for Beyonce. Either way, system, no system. Let's not forget that... Uh, so the system will not work the way it's working without Kelly the approval dress. of your mind as well, our mind. So okay. let's stop saying the system, the system, the system. When the system was selling this to us, did we say, no, we want Kelly? No, yeah, this exactly. one is not better. So we also, let's it's not make it system. Matters. What she's talking about now is not courage, it's not self-depreciation, uh, um, um, it's yeah. nothing. It is us being sincere with ourselves. If that I sit down here and met shadows, people that I feel like this person. It's not, you don't have a she choice. Did, she did not put herself in a shadow. It's, she's having a choice it's how you're marketed it's not your choice well, how you well, want to be maybe perceived cause, maybe because she didn't have a choice but i'm just saying to every other person out there work on your self-esteem that that goes a long way i don't way, think kelly roland has a self-esteem problem i don't think so well, well. I, I don't I, think that, so. that was my, what i got from this though i just no, i think like it's every some low if you're in a group even even like friend group Friend setting. You, let's remember the jokes. Let's not take serious. The jokes we see uh, online. I'll say is the ugliest friend. Yes. That is that is just always just, comparison yeah, and when there are group of people. That has nothing to do with the person. It's just how you're perceived in the world. It doesn't change how you see yourself. But there's a complete difference between how you see yourself and how people amongst see you. Like today's, people, today's amongst, conversation in the morning, when you said in your mind you give them all the time, that could be true for you. But honestly, other people could, could say if I really doesn't dress well, and that's fact for the most. Um, the public perception. That doesn't change how you see yourself when you leave the room, but the facts are still the facts. So for you to say now that, oh, I've come out to say that, oh, I know that people think that I don't dress well, but I think I dress well. There's something wrong with your self-esteem. I don't think so. That's what she's trying to say here. That despite the fact, whether or not it's true, it's not true, the truth of the matter is that she was Beyonce's shadow. There was a and benchmark, and the benchmark was Beyonce. Thank you. And put the conversation into context. She's giving uh, advice to somebody who just said that they were afraid of being shadows of their brother. Mm -hmm. And she said she can relate to that, how the world would perceive you as a shadow to somebody else. Not because that's true, it's just Even what it is. Even tomorrow, her successes, her wins, it's still, is still compared, being yeah. benchmarked perceived, yeah. to Beyonce. Perceived as different from personal, oh. like saying this is exactly how okay. I feel about it. So mm. if it is how people are perceiving you, that's fine, that's okay. It's okay for people to see you that way. But how do you see yourself? Do you decide to see yourself like, yo, I'm the B. Okay, I, 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 let me put a cap on that statement because you've said this twice now. I think that th there's you can't pretend like your opinion about yourself is the only opinion that matters. I think that's really, really naive. I think in the world that we live in today, mm. the way you perceive, the way the world perceives you is an important knowledge to know and to work with because it, it's not just about how you see how yourself. How do you feel it's about not yourself? That simple. It's not that simple. How do effect. you feel if about yourself? If I feel yourself? great, but all of a sudden I'm noticing that people are perceiving me as somebody who's callous or who doesn't dress well or looks tattered or whatever, I think it, I owe myself the, the, the ability to be able to analyze that and work on that not say oh okay I, I'm, I'm great i'm fantastic no nah, i don't think you anyone should be like that because you'll be biased and you don't see and you don't know if you is an important knowledge because it, it's not just about how video of megan the stallion shooting incident is being tracked down by los angeles um, police um now we remember we had the conversation when um Tori was arrested and of course there's been speculations that had made um 
Megan come out to say she wasn't arrested. She was driven to the hospital by um, the policeman to get the bullet out of her leg. And of mm. course, we were supposed to discuss um, the Kardashian curse mm. yesterday. That's another spin to the conversation. And um, it's been said that, of course, they were hanging out with... Um, um, what's the name of the Kardashian sister right now? Kylie. Kylie and before the whole drama happened. And mm. she went unskated, you know. So, mm. I mean, what's going on? I don't right. know. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I still want to, I hope they find the video because I don't think Megan is going to talk. And the fact that she is not talking mm -hmm. is more reason why I think that that bullet was from him. Because when celebrities do that, I think Ch uh, Chef whatever chi is a good example of that <laughs> when there's something wrong happening and there's all these rumors and stuff and they start to pick and choose which rumor they want to address, address. then i can oh i can almost confidently say that the way i know address is because it's not a rumor it's mm -hmm. true um so I, I think that that's what's happening here because she could have honestly speaking eh, the amount of people that said that thought that she was arrested was like one percent mm -hmm. a lot of the times everybody knew that she was in the hospital mm -hmm. all the media outlets were saying nobody, she was, said, she was arrested. nobody said she was arrested sis they said who shot you fam mm -hmm. who shot you tell us and then she ignored that so i feel like if she wanted to really address something that was really trending about this story she would have so um and then she also mentioned that how she wanted to keep her mental space and that she's now seeing how like the type of people that are coming to so i know somebody either kylie jenner or Tori. Shut her. Yes. Or, <laughs> no, maybe not shut her, but cause maybe the shooting. Maybe not Kylie, though. <laughs> or, or cause the shooting. Okay, there was that yeah. drama mm -hmm. share from these people, and it was negative. So I'm hoping that we can get the gist with or without Megan. Hopefully. Yeah. Mm. yeah. This is one of those stories that you just want to hear the full gist, like what exactly happened. Like mm. we can make a movie out of this gist, you know? Like, um, but like you you have said um it's almost impossible for tori not to be involved because mm. um a producer leo joe made the beat also put out a statement he put count your um effing days mm. that is and he, he was, tagged he was tori in lane possession really so yeah, yeah. And, and he also tagged <laughs> tori lane it's not like he was saying it and then we mm. had to put one and two together mm. he said at tori lane's count your effing days mm. do you understand so and that's a popular producer mm. so mm. obviously Tory Lanez has something to do with it either he, even if he didn't shoot it directly mm. he probably cost the shooting yeah or he cost the shooting or it was the Tory Lanez they were coming for mm. and um, the, um she got involved I, 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 I know think this is their uh, life and all but how do you even get close to someone like Tory Lanez I don't know, do you like, know that, I, that was the next the, thing I was going to say I said I was going to say that with Megan I think I mean we've there, there's been so many stories about um when you're grouping generous of music and then their lifespan so mm. country music people live the longest mm. and then rap lives the shortest mm. um, but i think she needs to start really um thinking harder about her life away from this music i think she has a lot going for her but the pace in which she's going i'm not trying to confess rubbish you just according to pattern you get into more she's getting into a drama too, too wasn't she much. the one coming out to address how she thought her songs was, was stolen mm. or she, the, her record label wasn't mm -hmm. giving her enough and then trying to drag jay-z into the drama yeah and, all, right? and then now you're, you're getting closer to guns like really sis i mean i get that you're like you know hot girl summer whatever i was with you that yes <laughs> like, like last summer i was with you 100 percent. but let's just tone it down like nikki minaj has been in the game for how long we haven't seen her around gone so think about it sis think just too funny hmm. think <laughs> her life away from this music i think she has a lot going for her this is my least favorite part of the show because it is where we wrap things up. But if you did enjoy today's topics as much as I did, you can catch us on all our episodes that you have missed of Tea Time on our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, catch the Tea Time crew live on Monday to Friday at 10.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. on DSTV Channel 408 across Africa. Once again, it is me, Ife Omai. Adios.